Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. Thank you for being here. In this video I want to talk about the difference between investing and trading because I see it being used interchangeably so often but I do want to stress that there is a difference and that difference is going to change how you manage your portfolio and I kind of want to explain those two differences so you can make a decision of whether you want to be a trader, an investor, or a little mix of both. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? So let's start with trading. And the general definition is basically buying or selling things, or in other words, exchanging things. And so I think a really good analogy here, obviously I'm sure you understand what trading is, but I kind of want to talk through some analogies just to compare trading and investing. So an analogy that I like that I came up with um, is if let's go down, you know, memory lane and uh, go into our childhood. So I don't know about you, but for me, one of my greatest pastimes was uh, trading things with my friends, be it Pokemon cards or food. Um, so let's just talk about food. For example, let's say I exchange a cookie for a brownie with my friends. So I just did a trade and let's say I eat the brownie, right? And I get instant gratification. I'm happy. I'm like, oh, this is so good. You know, this was delicious. So I'm happy. So I get that instant gratification. And this is the key point about trading. It's very short term. So what traders do is they try to um, make a profit based on the difference in price. So this might either be buy low, sell high, or this might be short selling where they try to sell it at a high price and buy it back at a low, which might be mind blowing, but I might go back, uh, I might go over that in another video. But basically it's all in the short term uh, and they do it very frequently, right? So for example, when I trade my cookie for that brownie, my cookie is like the money, my money, and maybe the brownie is, you know, the stock. I trade that and then, you know, I sell it by eating, right? Let's just make that analogy and I instantly take the profit, right? And I might do that over and over, right? The next day I'll trade, you know, my cookie for, oh, you know, I like apples. Maybe I'll trade it for an apple. Um, and so in that case, you know, I'm eating it immediately. It's like short term frequent profits and that's what trading is. Um, compared to later investing, you know, I'm not trading a cookie for a brownie and then like holding on to the brownie for ages, right? Um, or holding on to the apple for ages, which you shouldn't do, um, but investing you should. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. But the main point about trading is you're buying and selling very frequently so that you can lock in those profits in a short term. And so some people even take this to the extreme. You know, you'll see people day trading, which is where they'll just like keep buying and selling uh, throughout the day. They don't hold it overnight. Some people hold it for like a few seconds, a few minutes. Um, and, you know, people do trading for a... Uh, career and those people have uh, you know great software um, algorithms people come up with this is like genius but they have all of this software working for them that you know the average person like I I do not have that um, but they'll they'll be like analyzing volumes and stuff making trades the computer might be making trades and so it's very fast very frequent and they're trying to lock in that profit um, and with all of this short-term stuff you are going to rack up a lot of short-term capital gain on the other hand, with investing, um, I want to start with the definition again, and I really like the one that Wikipedia came up with. So the Wikipedia definition is, let me read it here, is to allocate money in the expectation of some benefit in the future. And so the key word in this definition here is in the future. If you're investing, you buy a stock and you're holding it for the long term, and then you're trying to reap a profit or a gain sometime in the future. How long is that future? That'll depend. It's going to vary based on your situation. You know, for me, as somebody, you know, not too old yet versus somebody who might be almost retiring, that future <laughs> might be different. But the point is you're holding it for a period of time and you're going to try to reap it later down the road compared to trading when you're trying to do it as you know when it goes up you want to get it like right now instant gratification is kind of the thing and so the analogy here that i want to use is um with classes right um you might want to invest in yourself by taking a class or learning a new skill so for example let's say you want to learn a new musical skill like piano um you wouldn't call it investing in yourself if you know you pay money to take a piano class for 
a week and then you're like nah and then you you switch to guitar and then after a week you're like nah and then you go to the flute or something right you're just constantly switching you're not really learning anything you wouldn't really call that investing in yourself so the analogy here is you take a piano class and you do it for several years for the hope that later down the road you'll build up your skills and you'll be able to play the pieces that you want to play or you can make your own songs or whatever the goal is um, the analogy between investing uh, in stocks and investing in yourself is that you're putting money and time up front and then you're waiting over time to get that benefit instead of like constantly asking, you know, after one day of piano, I'm still not good. After two days, you know, three days, I'm like, oh, this sucks and I drop it and I go to another instrument, you know, some that would be more like trading, right? Because you're switching very frequently and so the main difference between trading and investing even though people use the terms like interchangeably like oh yeah I, I trade stocks or like I invest in stock the difference is that investing is more of a buy and hold kind of mindset for the long term versus trading involves more buying and selling over the short term so it's more frequent and so these are two different strategies that have brought great returns like millionaires have been made just by trading or investing and so it's really up to you which strategy you want to adopt whether you want to trade only um, you're looking for those short-term profits which is perfectly fine or you know you want to go for that more longer term horizon and you want to be an investor or you want to try a little bit of both so it's really up to you I am going to talk a little bit more about my philosophy and how I got started in things in future videos, but I did want to make this video um, stressing the difference and clearing that up so that when you do start going into the stock market, you have that strategy in your mind of what you want to do and you can align yourself and not go into that, oh my God, you know, this person made this much money because they bought in at this price and sold at that price in a month, right? If you're a long-term investor, don't get phased and be like, oh my God, let me change my strategy. If, if you wanna do one thing, you know, d don't, both strategies are good, but either, you know, pick one or pick a mix of both and like stay on that. Don't, don't be like the, the musician who tries one instrument for a few days and, you know, forgets about it. Um, so these are two strategies, both work great. Pick one for you and I'm going to talk more about what I do in future videos. So hopefully now you can tell the difference between trading and investing and use them properly. Uh, if you agree with anything that I said, please leave a like. If you didn't agree uh, or you want to correct me on something, also leave a like or dislike if you really want to. Um, but comment uh, if I can clarify anything. Please leave a comment, subscribe if you'd like to, but always thank you so much for your time in watching this, and I will see you next time. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.